Welcome to part 3 of the Unimat Compound Rest Build. I'm really happy. This is going really, really well. So join me and uh, let's get started. Actually, how tall is this thing? Ridiculously, I haven't measured it. It's just 11 millimeter tall. It should fit. More or less. Alright. It's a snug fit. It's a nice fit. I love it. Lovely. <laughs> I mean, we, do, we do need to drill a bit further. I think we're done and we have a true hole so let's see how good it is we have to chamfer it of course but flop <laughs> lovely very little play very little play these are locally bought they're bloody expensive but they work so magnificently well I'm really pleased with these. Just too bad they don't have a 7mm and uh, well, basically the whole set. I'd buy the whole set regardless of the price because they're so good. I cannot tell you how pleased I am. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> okay. I think uh, this is uh, enough for one day.
Oh, that's ready. Let's see if it passes clearly through. There we go. We have about one millimeter of clearance, fairly parallel, even though handmade. I'm pretty pleased with that. All right, I hope you guys can see it. We are touching, locking the quill. the end of the quill but <laughs> not the end of the drill That got us through. Let's uh, undo that. Let me get that out. Got a hole spotted on. Lovely. Now this side thickness is <sighs> got ants in the shop and a big spider by the way so we got three millimeters here that's pretty good all right let me get the screws I'll install this there goes one I'm lock, not locking these. I don't want to apply any forces, not necessary. Now, if I ruin this, there's no way back except making a new one, which I don't want to do, obviously. Right, so I'll just lock these by hand. Put that over there. We need to install this back on. So we need these tiny little screwdrivers. There goes my favorite tweezer. And there goes one. Now I do intend to make my own screws, but we might get there and we might not. We might just modify these. So these are tight. And of course I did it upside down. <laughs> And something was in my way and I didn't realize what. <laughs> Silly me. Alright, now we can lock these guys. And the moment of truth. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I see a clear hole going through this. But, as the saying goes, the proof is in the pudding. And yes. <laughs> I 
this is a wonderful mating surface and we can we have absolute freedom we can move it back and forth oh boy am I happy now that's more than enough Think we have a true hole? Well, let's find out. Yep, we got through with a drill bit. Now, I don't want to tap this entire length, it's completely useless. So, and we're good to go. Right. We have oil in the hole and you're just tapping by hand. Basically speaking, this piece is done. It's been tapped. It's uh, really nice. And what we need to do now is just clean it up. According to my math, the slot should be at 8 millimeter height. Total height is 13 millimeters, which will give us a nice spacing. And let's do some marking here. So we have two lines and we will mill those five millimeters deep. Okay, that went a little bit easier. Do bear in mind I have five millimeters to take, so it's 25 passes and then we'll do the edges. Okay, so we have a 5.2 millimeter groove. So we're at 5.2, we need to get to 4.4. That's rather easy. We're going to take 0.1 millimeter steps one at a time. Now the critical, critical measurement is this bottom section, so this one does not really matter. So, 
let's measure it we need to get around to four and a half to five we're at four point uh, four no four point five which is pretty good I don't think we need a lot more clearance than that to get that out of there yeah sits nicely in we do have some leverage here so we won't be able to damage the edge when we drill and tap so this sits really nice I think we should stop we got a four and a half millimeter clearance that's a half millimeter clearance from the top the bottom one is perfect wonderful so I'm really really happy with that ready to have some fun with it we need to drill holes and tap them two for each side now this is a 20 millimeter piece of brass so basically speaking we need to position well it's divided by two-thirds and let's say each one is going to be five millimeter from the edge that will leave us a ten millimeter gap between the dots I'd prefer a, a better grab than just even distribution of the holes so getting the screws on the edges will give us a better grip so the carriage is ready ready for action basically speaking so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed um so far i've invested about 40 hours in this i'm guessing we've got another three hours to go before we're done with that and i'm really really pleased with the result i can tell you thanks for watching hope you enjoyed